Hello. I'm sorry, Alfie. Is this weirding you out? Because it's weirding me out too. Hey guys, today I'm gonna be filming for you guys a September favorites, which means that it is already October, which is freaking crazy. I'm just going to be showing you what I loved this month, or I guess last month. I don't know. Time goes too fast. I'm gonna show you a bunch of different things that I've been enjoying, such as food and clothes and music. So first of all, you may notice that there is one thing different about me and it is not my hair by any means. I dyed my hair and I also had to cut it off. If you watched my most recent video, I talk about how I dyed my hair pink and I also tell you how it was one of the worst decisions I've ever made in my life. So I had to chop my hair off because the ends of my hair were extremely damaged and it just did not look cute and I I just had to, I had to do something. I also decided to go a shade darker for the fall because I figured why not? It's dark brown and it's got some like uh, weedy sort of blonde tones in it. So yeah, that's my new hair. If you like it, let me know if you like it. If you hate it, I don't care because it's better than pink, so. So I guess let's just get right into it because I have so much to show you. I'm going to start off with clothes because that is where my true passion lies. I definitely go shopping pretty often, so I pretty much always have new pieces in my closet. And I just picked up a couple things that are from Target, Free People, and I think that's mostly it. These are things that I've been pretty much wearing like on the daily. So first off, Target fall. Can we just like, those two things go so well together, I do not understand how they do so freaking good in like the fall clothing department. I don't, I don't get it, but whatever. In their scarf section, they have these really, really chunky knit, super soft infinity scarves. These things are warmer than anything in the entire world, and they are so cute. They're such good colors, they're perfect for fall. I originally bought this gray one, which is just a dark gray. Look at that, look at that, can we just, ugh. I'm not even wearing it, it looks cute. Anyways, I bought this gray one and I fell in love with it. I pretty much wore it for like a couple days straight the second I bought it. And keep in mind that it's not necessarily cold enough to wear this kind of a scarf in my town yet and I'm sweating buckets in this thing, but it is so cute that I wear it anyways. And it's probably, that's probably not very smart, but it's okay. And then I went back about a week later and bought it in the like taupey, like mauvey pink color. The only downside is that I'm pretty sure that I get like fuzz in my mouth every time I wear it because it's so fuzzy. Okay, so the next thing that I got is actually a sweater and it's also from Target as well and it is inside out right now because that's how much I've been wearing it. Just a very simple gray sweater. You know, it's funny because when I bought this, I was like, oh, it's rather, it's rather thin, so it'll be a good like transitioning sweater. No, this sweater is so freaking warm. It looks thin, it looks very lightweight, and it's not. So it's kind of sneaky in that way, but I think I may or may not go back there today and buy this in more colors. The next sweater I got is actually from a store called Hot Knots in my town. I bought a turtleneck or cowl neck sweater from there that I saw one very similar to at Madewell. I think it was last fall or last winter. And I decided to um, get it because I haven't seen one since. And it just looks like this. It is a sort of open knit sweater. It's light gray or it's like a white and um, black like mixed stitching so it kind of ends up looking like a light gray. But it's got, um, I don't know if you can see, it's like pretty open, it's pretty open knit but it's so soft. It's from Jack. I think it's Jack from BB Dakota I'm pretty sure. So next I'm going to show you my favorite things that I got from Free People. I got two dresses from Free People. I'm attending a wedding in October that I'm extremely excited about and it'll be in Portland. So I've been shopping profusely for dresses in fall colors that were sort of in my price budget because I'm not I'm not the one getting married, so I don't need to spend that much. I ended up sort of slimming it down to two dresses from Free People. They're both in the same color family, and I literally just got them in the mail, like, today. The dress is, this is the front. This string is actually goes in the back. So this is the front, and it's got a deep v-neck. Ta-da! 
and it has got just a normal like cinched waist. The only thing that I'm not super in love with is the open back in the back. Hello! Um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to wear that yet. I guess I could wear a little bralette, but um, I definitely don't want to show too much skin because it's probably going to be pretty cold. Um, but I am definitely going to work on this and I'll figure out how to wear it. So last week I was checking back and forth hoping that they would get it in a new color before I ended up having to buy a dress for the wedding because I figured that I could totally like just do it all at once. And they did. They did not disappoint. So I just bought this dress and it's um, sort of a long sleeved casual dress in the bottom. The very bottom's got like a little flare out. Um, I've seen this dress on a lot of people and it looks so good on so many people that I was just really excited to sort of add it to my closet as well. My only sort of accessory favorite that I have for this month is my school bag. I just picked it up at Target at the beginning of September because my school backpack was sort of bugging me in terms of like it didn't always match my outfit and I was like I need to look more like put together and I can't always wear a backpack and look super stylish so I just got this bag it is black it's a tote bag sort of handbag it's sort of um I would say like Celine inspired almost I know Forever 21 has a bag really similar to this right now and I saw it and I was kind of mad because I think the Target one was a little more expensive. It's also got like the front pocket and the front which I think I keep, my phone is going off, I think I keep my business cards in here. So yeah, if you guys want to see a what's in my school bag video, just like this and I will show you what's in this puppy. I actually also use my backpack sometimes on days like when I'm really hungry and have to pack a lot of food. So I'll probably do but like what's in all of my bags sort of thing, but next I'm going to move on to food and snacks. All of these I'm pretty sure I got from Target as well. The first thing that's from Target is Archer Farms Pumpkin, whoop, oh gosh, I almost dropped you. Archer Farms Pumpkin Spice Pretzels. These are just like yogurt covered pretzels, but the yogurt is pumpkin spice flavored. I know what, I think I'm going to eat one right now. Sort of sticking with the whole fall themed snacks. A funny story, orange Halloween Oreos are the only Oreos I will eat. I don't eat regular ones, I don't eat double stuff, I don't eat the new thin ones. I only eat orange Oreos and I do not know why, I do not know the difference, but for some reason I will only eat the orange ones. In the sense of makeup, I have a couple favorites, um, one of which has mysteriously gone missing in the past 10 minutes, so I will just let you know what it is. Um, it's NYX's Lala. It's like their matte lipstick in the shade Lala, and I talked about it in my fall lipsticks video, so if you're wondering what it looks like on and what it looks like in general so you can go buy it, go ahead and watch that video. I will link it right there. Pretty much wear it every single day. If I don't wear it completely, I'll just dab it on the bottom of my lips and rub it in so it's like a really um, light shade. Another monthly favorite in terms of makeup that I have for this month is Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This mascara is amazing. Right, so in terms of music, I have just um, a couple sort of music things that I've really been into this uh, month. Um, Disclosure's new album. Disclosure has my heart. I saw them um, two summers ago. No, not this not two summers ago, last summer, like not the most recent summer, the one before that. So is that two summers ago? I don't know. They were super awesome and I had so much fun and then they came out with the single with Sam Smith about like, what was that, two months ago, maybe three months ago? And then they came out with this whole album that is just freaking awesome. And my favorite right now, of course, on the um, whole uh, album is Lord's song with them called Magnet or Magnets. I bought it like the second that album was released. I didn't even listen to it. I was like, yeah, I'm buying that. I love Disclosure. I don't think I can say much else. All right, I have one more monthly favorite for this month and it is the cake of all cakes. A sick board. Oh, this thing is extremely heavy. <laughs> this thing is so much fun, and I actually didn't even spend that much money on it. Uh, we spent, I think it was only about 300 on Amazon. They are the coolest things ever, and it's really fun to watch your parents like write it because they're like, what is this futuristic device? So that is it for my monthly favorites for the month of September. I had a bunch of random things in there as always. 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Adios amigos. Have a wonderful... Bye. Also, watch this awesome trick. <laughs>